What are you doing? No, you can't go back there. Come here. You can't go back there. You know that. You know that. Come on, man. Are you gonna let me? Are you gonna let me get going here? Are you gonna rub your face against that? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's get started. Hello, and welcome to another Cybersecurity 101. I'm Mark Hemingway, content producer here at Archer Energy Solutions. Today, we're going to talk about Keylogger. Keylogging? One of the two. Um, it kind of goes both ways. So, uh, if this is your first time here, uh, I use ChatGPT to help me to learn more about cybersecurity, uh, all the terms and all of the going-ons of it. So, let's just get right into it. Here we are with, in cybersecurity, what is a keylogger? A keylogger is a type of software or hardware device that records keystrokes on a computer or mobile device, often used for malicious purposes, such as capturing passwords or sensitive information. Okay, so we're gonna have ourselves a bad guy day. That's exciting. All right, well, I'd like a little more information on that, so I'm kind of curious, how does it work? A keylogger works by intercepting and logging keystrokes entered by a user on a computer or mobile device. This can be done through software installed on the device or hardware attached to it, allowing the attacker to monitor and record the user's activities, including passwords and other sensitive information. Okay, so it's literally just logging all of your information while it's in there, and then we'll go and decipher that all and uh, go do bad things and steal all your stuff, I'm imagining. Go to your bank accounts and take those out. Identity theft. Oh, my wife just went through that a little bit. Ooh, that's a nightmare. She didn't even get hit very hard, but I think we got it under control. Fingers crossed. So there's the house, so let's go with the where. Where does this happen? Key logging can occur on various devices, including computers, laptops, smartphones, and tablets. So everything. Uh, it typically happens silently in the background without the user's knowledge. Great. Allowing the attacker to capture keystrokes and sensitive information as the user interacts with the device. I don't like these invisible things. I mean, sometimes the good old bam, you got a ransomware is nice because you can start working on it but if you don't know i mean they could be there forever and ever and ever keep an eye on your bank account watch it but don't do it oh but don't do it on your computer or your smartphone or your or your ipad or your tablets laptops i guess you could go to the bank that's a thing that's a real thing all right moving right along uh, how can I know if a keylogger is installed on my device? You can use a reputable antivirus or anti-malware software to scan your device for keyloggers. Additionally, monitoring unusual behavior such as unexpected pop-ups, changes in system settings, or suspicious network activity may indicate the presence of a keylogger. Okay, so there's ways. You just gotta go use all that antivirus and software and malware and you gotta know which ones to use. That's the tricky part. I'm afraid to ask for people to put comments on the, you know, like, hey, who's trusted? Who's not trusted? Because how can we trust that person? It's so scary. I kind of wish we could go back and they were never invented all this stuff. It's just too much. You know, I feel like we, I don't know. It's too much. We don't get to think for ourselves anymore, which kind of kind of scares me moving forward. All right, well, how do these um, bad words get into our computers? So what are some common methods used to distribute keyloggers? Common methods used to distribute keyloggers include phishing emails with malicious attachments or links, uh, infected software downloads from untrusted sources, exploiting vulnerabilities in software and operating systems, and physical access to install hardware keyloggers on target devices. Okay, so all the, all the ways we've learned about, all the bad things, they, that's one of their ways of getting on there and just following everything you do. Have fun. 
Well, we kind of know how they get on there, but are there any signs that we can look for? So what are some signs that indicate a device might be infected with a keylogger? Signs are, let's see, unexplained high network activity, unusual slowness, unexpected pop-up windows, changes in browser settings, suspicious entries, antivirus or anti-malware software alerts, uh, unexplained, unauthorized access to online accounts. Okay, so keep an eye out. Always watch all your stuff to make sure everything's, you know, on the up and up, because they don't care. Hmm. So we know that they capture keystrokes. So I wonder if they can do anything else while they're in there. I'm sure they can. So can keyloggers capture more than just keystrokes? I'm sure. Yes, some advanced keyloggers can capture more than just keystrokes. They may also capture screenshots, clipboard data, uh, website URLs that you visited, mouse clicks, and even webcam and microphone activity, depending on their capabilities and configuration. And they can know where you go and they can get your passwords as you log in and out of all those different sites. All right, last question here. What is a real life keylogging incident? One real life keylogging incident occurred in 2008 when criminals used keyloggers to steal banking credentials from thousands of victims. They employed a combination of phishing emails and malware to infect computers, allowing them to capture login information for banking accounts. The criminals then used the information to siphon funds from the victims' accounts, resulting in substantial financial losses. Oh, this is like everyone's biggest nightmare. You know, you work hard for your money, you put it in the bank, and then someone just comes and takes it. And your identity and all that other stuff, just ruining your life. Alrighty, well, thanks again for joining me for another Debbie Downer of an episode for uh, Cybersecurity 101. Um, key logging you know hey look out for that one too so let's let's try and see if we can find some uh some good some good antivirus and anti-malware software out there and you know go ahead and leave them in the comments below and i'll check with my guys at at, uh, at archer and see what they what they think that uh that we should do you know in situations like that and i'll report back on that in a further episode so we need to stay need to stay protected we need to know how to protect ourselves the right way. So anyway, thanks again. And uh, don't forget to follow us on our social medias, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And as always, uh, right here on our YouTube page, at ArcherU. Uh, until next week, bye. You can catch new episodes every Thursday. Follow us on YouTube at ArcherU. Like, subscribe, and click the bell notification to be notified when a new episode has been released. Is there a question or a topic you'd like Mark to address on an upcoming episode of Cybersecurity 101? Leave them in the comments below and check back in every Thursday for a brand new episode.